Hi there. This screencast is a very quick uh, introduction to one tool for uh, creating a graphic of your own. Um, in this screencast, I'm just going to use Google Drawing, which I think is a really useful, simple tool uh, for putting together a quick diagram. Um, when you're creating a graphic in an online environment, uh, this may be an area you have a lot of skill in. Um, I really don't. I'm good at working with graphics, but I'm not great at drawing from scratch myself. Um, but it's important to also have a good workflow that uh, helps you to be productive and create graphics that are suitable in the least amount of time with the least amount of fuss. So I really like Google Draws, Google Drawing for this, um, and I keep it on my uh, bookmarks in Chrome. So Google Drawing works best in Chrome, uh, so that's what I would suggest you use. So if I select that, but you'll also notice it's docs.google.com slash drawings. And so I start off with giving it a name, and this is just going to be a Venn diagram that I'm going to make. And once you've named it, uh, as you go, um, Google Drawing is going to save every piece as you move along. So this is not a system where you have to stop and save frequently. This is going to save as you go. The first thing I do is go to Page Setup. Because I'm creating a drawing or an image that I'm going to want to put up online, uh, not print, um, or not put into a, a PowerPoint or something like that, um, I want to be much more in control of what size. And so I go to Custom, and then instead of some kind of inches or centimeters, I'm going to select pixels so that I know what I'm getting. 960 by 720 is probably going to be fine. Uh, yeah, so let's go with that for now. So I'm going to grab a shape here. see as close as I can get this to being a, a reasonable circle. And then I'm going to adjust the fill. So maybe I want the fill to be transparent. I want the line to be black. Maybe I want the line to be a little thicker. So let's take a look at that. How do we feel about that? Oh, that looks okay. So I'm going to take this shape that I just made, and using Control c I'm going to copy it. And then using Control v I'm going to make two copies of it. And I'm going to drag them around a bit. And notice that I made the fill transparent, which means that these circles aren't going to overlap or cancel each other out. We get this um, uh, this transparent sort of setting here. Now the hard part with this Venn diagram is always going to be uh, getting this thing to line up properly. In Google Drawing you will get some little um, guidelines that will pop up and they will help you to align one object with another. So this red line is telling me that my that this circle that I'm moving now is on the same level as the other one. And I am really just eyeballing this right now. I think that's reasonable. I could set up some guides to try and do this better later. And now I'm going to put some text in this thing. And what I'm going to do with this Von diagram is I'm just going to um, Put the three different aspects of media that we develop for teaching and learning. And uh, I'm going to put a term into each circle. Center that. And rather than reformat re, uh, a couple more um, 
uh, text boxes. I'm just going to copy this text box over and change the term that's in each. And so that centers it for me, but I don't like that because it's partly over that other circle. So I'm going to leave it centered in the middle of the circle, but move it this way a bit. Grab this one, and again, we're going to have to move it. It looks a little better over here. And so here I have a Venn diagram with three parts, and it's trying to illustrate that when we're developing media for education, uh, we're concerned with the technology, how we, the technique we use to create it, mastering the technology that lets us create media for education. And we'd like it to look reasonably good, but aesthetics are something that takes time to develop. And we want it to be pedagogically effective. So that's an important part. Um, in this course, we're going to spend a fair amount of time on what is pedagogically effective. And we're going to spend enough time on the technology so that you can get started and you are able to, at least at the beginning level, create some media. And on the aesthetic, uh, we'd like to approach an aesthetic that at least doesn't detract from the educational value of a graphic. But there's been research that shows that you do not have to be uh, a wonderful artist to create media that has educational value that uh, the aesthetic is the least important part of educational media. Anyway, so I've created this graphic and now I'm going to download it as um, a PNG, I think is what I'm going to download it as. And I'll find it in my downloads uh, folder and I'm able to now put this to use somewhere on um, on a website or the learning management system. One thing I'm going to quickly do is I'm going to give it a name that doesn't have a space in it and I'm going to download it one more time because this will give me a version that has a file name that is better for use online. That dash, the no spaces in there, a better uh, system for when you're putting files or putting images up on the internet. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful for you and we'll talk to you soon.